make a difference and rise up and be a light in this dark world. We got to rise up and to do that we got to say no more. We got to say no more. No more. We got to say no more. And here are some things we got to say no more to. I'm saying no more to government controls where the state tells us that we can't go to church. The Constitution gives us that right. I'm going to say no more. No more will we allow the government, the state or the local, to tell us that we can't have our constitutional freedoms. No more. No more will we allow the government and the world's creed and the world's standards and what the world is saying to tell us what is wrong or right. God's word is what we're going to go by. God's word is our standard and we have got to live by that and lift it up. And we're going to say no more to be it seen right in a seen right way where we're not making a stand for the truth. And no more will we allow the government. No more will we allow it to fill our children's heads full of things that, that are against his word and against God's word and, and against our family's morals and standards. No more. No more will we close our eyes to the corruption that is going on around us. No more, no more, will we refuse to submit our life and will we refuse to commit it to God so that we can obey him and stand up and be a light. No longer will we silence the voice of God. No longer will we shut up our hearts and minds from God's spirit. No more, no more. It's time we rise up, church. We have closed our eyes and ears. For too long, we can't lose this battle if we don't seek our God. We got to fill up with His Spirit. We got to listen and obey Him. We got to make a stand against those things that are wrong and cry out no more. We got to give in to God's will and stop our own will. And we got to cry out and be a voice that cries out in the night and says, no more No more will we let the enemy Steal our freedoms No more will we refuse to Make a stand and hide our head in the sand No more will we shut our ears up While others cry out loud we will add our voice to those who are crying in the night. And we're going to listen. We're going to listen to the voice of God and obey Him. No more will we let our freedoms be stolen without a fight. We're going to say, we're going to say no more. We're going to say no more. No more. up our way we gotta make a stand for what's right and we gotta live what's right to make that stand and to be able to cry out and make a difference we gotta shine like a light and fill up with the spirit and be that light to others so that when they look at us they see our God and then when we say no more they know that there's somebody that's standing behind us that's saying no more that's adding his voice to ours no more, no more. I talked to so many people. And you know, they make this statement. I'm just letting God take care of it. But I tell you, if we want God to move, a lot of time 
it comes through obedience. When we read the word of God, we see many times that what he did was dependent on how his people reacted to things that he told them to do. So we need to do our part and then trust him to do his part. And no, we can't fix it on our own, but we can obey him and he can use what we've done to turn it out okay. He can make this thing all right. We can trust him and depend on him, but we've got to do our part. I think sometimes we think there's nothing that we can do. But there are some things, and let me tell you some things that you can do. Start by making sure that your heart is right with God and that your relationship with him is on solid ground. And then you can be setting yourself in a place where you can be used by him. And the A number one thing we can do is pray. Never underestimate the power of prayer. Pray for this thing. And here are some things that I've been praying. It's the kind of things that God put, put on my heart to pray. I'm praying for those in our government that are making a stand for what is right. Praying especially for President Trump. And I'm praying for other people that in his cabinet and other people that are close to him. Be strengthened. I pray for his family. I pray for the people that are there that are wavering between two uh, positions. Standing part of the time for one side and part of the time for the other side. I pray that they be made bold and that they open their eyes and that they see that they need to make a stand. I also pray for those that are really taking the devil's side. Tell you, we've got a governor that I'm really praying for. And I'm praying that he'll be saved. And some of these other people, I'm praying that they'll be saved. That they'll come to see the truth. I'm praying that God's conviction fall on them in a mighty way. And either they give in to God's conviction or his conviction is so strong that it just wipes them out. And that may seem kind of hard, but we need some changes going on. I also pray for the hearts of the American people that they be drawn to God. And that they open their eyes and that they see and that they make a stand. I pray for them that at election time that they do what they need to do there and vote righteousness and vote for godliness and make a stand. I pray that the people of this country will be made bold in making a stand. There's lots of things that we can pray for. Pray as God leads you. Pray as God leads you. And also when he leads you to do something, obey him. He may tell you to talk to this person or that person. He may tell you to do different things. If you want to make a difference, you got to obey him. Stay informed, but make sure that your information is sure. God can tell you. He can show you in your heart if something that you're hearing on the news is wrong. God is the best lie detector you could ever have. If you'll hear something and you say, oh, wow, that doesn't match with my spirit. Then you know that it's not the truth. Now, look at the people. If you want to see, look at the people and the record of what they've done. For example, President Trump has proven that he's standing for God. He's trying to make decisions as led by God. Some of those decisions are the decisions he's made with Israel the stand for religious freedom, the rights of Christians, and how he praises God often. And the people in his cabinet that are close to him, they are seen with their hands raised and praying and praising God. So those are the people that you need to support or those people that are standing for God. Stand with them and support them with your finances, with your actions. And what I mean by that is... When you hear someone down in them and they're talking ignorance, and straighten them out. Tell them what's really the truth and what's going on. And especially support them with your votes. Talk about what's going on. Get your head out of the sand and make sure that those around you are not able to keep it in their sand because you're going to tell them the truth. But most important, don't underestimate the power of prayer. And don't underestimate 
the importance of obeying God.